Okay, now let's work the same problem using LIFO, last in, first out. If you remember, we started off with the beginning balance on November 1st of 22 at 60 for $1,320 for total cost. Then on November 6th, they sold 12 because all we have is a balance at $60. Those 12 are sold at 60 as well for 720, leaving us a balance of 22 minus 12, 10 at 60, 600. Now on November 8th, they purchased 25 at 81 for a total cost of 2025. On the 17th, they're going to sell 25. Because this is LIFO, we're taking the last in is the first out. So when we did FIFO, we started at 10 at 60. But those are our first units in. This is LIFO, last in, first out. So our last units of 25 at 81 will be our first to go. So we're going to sell all 25 at 81 for a cost of 2025. That's going to leave us with a balance of 10 at 60, which is 600. Then on November 30th, they're going to sell 8, and those 8 are going to be sold at 60 as well. 8 at 60 is 480, and we're left with a balance of 2 at 60 which is 120. Just like FIFO, it had a balance of two. You're going to have the same ending quantity every time. What's going to change is your ending inventory amount and cost of goods sold. For November 30th, 120 is our ending inventory. Let's calculate our cost of goods sold. We had a sale of 720, another sale of 2025, and another sale of 480. So our total cost of goods sold is 3,225. Ending inventory is 120. Just like on FIFO, let's do our check. 3,225 plus 120 gives us 3,345. That's the same total we got for FIFO. So in total, it's the same amounts. It's just different whether you have a higher ending inventory or a higher cost of goods sold. Next, we'll do weighted average.